Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Today we're going to have a brief look at the handbrake for the LT230, or the park brake, or transmission brake if you like. The park brake assembly has a backing plate and it's bolted on to the transfer box. Okay, just to orientate yourself, this is the brake drum with bolt holes and some locating screws, uh, drilling for weighting it, and also the inside. And this area here is the working surface which the handbrake shoes work on. There are two main handbrake types on these Land Rovers. One is the horizontal shoes, which is this, which you'll find with an, a manual expander which is connected to a linkage and then a cable and you have an adjuster here okay you can see that this is adjusted with a spanner all right these are horizontal shoes and they're positioned in this fashion okay now this set here is a vertical set of shoes which is cable operated you'll find these on discoveries and even the later defenders on the back here you'll see the adjuster nut which you can use a socket for to expand the shoes out to adjust them The slack adjuster or the adjuster expands in and outwards and also on the backing plate we have a lever here which is the main operator. If you pull the cable it will pull the shoes out and that will lock your handbrake on. The horizontal shoe system has two brake springs and this system has three. You have one here which holds the expander plate into place and then at the bottom you have your blue spring and at the top you have another spring which holds the shoes onto the expander plate which is this. Okay just quickly jumping onto some brakes and this is a self adjusting set which you'll find on an LDV, you'll find them on French cars. They are retained with a clip like this, it's quite common. And what we're looking at here at the bottom is a self adjuster which is not what you'll find on your Land Rover. But those who are interested is this wheel is wound out to adjust the shoes just right and as the shoes expand it will actually move the wheel and expand it more. Okay, This set of shoes is probably the most complicated you'll get but it also has a handbrake mechanism with an expander bar just like we do on our handbrake here. You can see that at the top yeah, and the leverage way it levers is exactly the same whereas this is more like a wheel cylinder the way it's pulled out and expands you can see the wheel cylinder here our vertical shoes will have exactly the same retainers of what these brake shoes do which are these two here whereas our horizontal set rely on the springs at the back of the shoes and slots in the expander and the adjuster to hold them into place the working surface of this park brake is exactly the same as any other drum brake. You can see this has had grit in it, it scored it, and also it's glazed. You can see the shiny parts there. This has been rubbing on the drum as the vehicle has been driving. This part here is a leading edge of the brake shoe. And this is common and you'll find this on all brake drum brake shoes. A leading and a trailing edge. You will find this on your park brake as well. You have a leading edge and it's rotation dependent, going down to a trailing edge and another leading edge. Okay. Now, this is very important that you get these shoes around the right way, otherwise, you might have a few problems. Okay, so the next couple of tutorials, we're going to cover both of these type of handbrakes. You'll actually notice here that one of these shoe sets is the wrong way round. It's not very often that handbrake shoes need to be replaced unless they're oil contaminated because they don't usually wear out, but we'll do them anyway. 